Hi everyone. Welcome to the Sloan C workshop titled Effective Leadership for Online Learning. My name is Brian Uderman and I'm very excited to be the facilitator for the workshop. So, just a bit of information about me to get started. I completed my bachelor's degree in athletic training from St. Cloud State University a long time ago. Uh, actually, it, it was in the early 1990s, so it wasn't that long ago. I went on to do my graduate work at Syracuse University in exercise physiology. My first real job after 11 years of college was at Mesa State College in Grand Junction, Colorado, where I served as the program director for their athletic training program. Then I took a position at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse and have been there ever since. I've been married to my wife Carrie for 18 years and we have three rambunctious boys, ages 12, 10, and 8. So some of you might be asking, what makes this guy qualified to facilitate a workshop on leadership? I'll share just a few of the leadership positions I've had over the years. I'm currently serving as the Director of Online Education at UWL, a position I truly love. I've tried hard to get involved with Sloan C over the years and have reviewed proposals for some of their conferences and currently serve as a track chair for the Emerging Technologies for Online Learning Conference. I've directed or chaired many committees while working in higher education. For example, I had the opportunity to chair two search and screen committees for instructional designers we hired at my school, and also served as the chair of our Institutional Review Board for the Protection of Human Subjects Committee. I've also directed two health and wellness programs on university campuses and started a youth sports and fitness camp at UWL about 10 years ago which we still offer twice a year and usually have up to 150 five to 12 year old children at. That camp makes my real job look easy. The topic of leadership is incredibly vast. As most of you know, you can earn bachelor's, master's, and even PhD degrees in leadership today. If leadership is something you are interested in, you also know there are many resources you can use to help improve your leadership skills. I will be sharing lots of leadership resources during this workshop. It is my goal that this workshop be a meaningful experience for you, but that it not cause you lots of additional stress, as I know most of you are very busy with your professional lives and families. Finally, I'll say that I hope all of you are dedicated to making a change or exploring one leadership position in the future after completing this workshop. Here are the objectives for the workshop. I hope that when we are finished, you all will have identified some ways to be more involved at your school, in your state, or even nationally in regards to leadership positions. We will be talking about leadership myths during the workshop and being able to identify leadership myths and seeing how they might be holding you back. We will also discuss common characteristics of good leaders. And one final objective will be to promote and advance online learning, whether it be at your school, in your state, or across the country. The workshop will consist of four graded activities. All of them will have discussion board requirements as well. There will be two readings that must be completed, one describing a variety of academic leadership myths, and one exploring if leadership characteristics of business executives are appropriate for individuals in higher education. There will also be a leadership resource activity where I'll provide you with many leadership resources, which you get to review and comment on, as well as offer a leadership resource of your own. 
Finally, we will complete an activity where you will explore possible online leadership positions at your institution, in your state, even nationally and or internationally. You will also have the opportunity to participate in an exciting live session where we will be joined by three well-respected individuals who hold high-level leadership positions in online education. These guests bring with them a wealth of knowledge and experience related to online learning. They will be sharing their thoughts and opinions on what it takes to be an effective leader, and you will also have the chance to interact with them and ask them questions. More information on these guests can be found in the Moodle workshop site. Here is the rubric that will be used for the four graded discussion board activities. In order to receive a satisfactory grade, you will simply need to demonstrate an appropriate understanding level of the topic, provide evidence of reflective thought pertaining to the topic, and provide a meaningful response to other participants' posts in the discussion board. To wrap things up, I would like to say thank you for signing up for this workshop. I'm really looking forward to interacting with each of you over the next 10 days, and I'm excited to have you share your leadership experiences with me and the rest of the participants in the workshop.